In this video, we'll be looking at the Kaiweetz KTI W01 thermal camera. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on notification bell so you'll be notified once I upload a new video. I'll start off by unboxing it. Inside the box you receive the thermal imager, a data cable, a carrying case or bag, manuals, and the charger. This thermal imaging camera has an IR or infrared resolution of 256 by 192. It has a refresh rate of 25 Hz and a temperature range from negative 20 degrees Celsius to 550 degrees Celsius. It also has a 3.2 inch color screen. You can take pictures or videos and upload them to the computer at a later time to analyze them. There's a built-in 3500 milliamp hour battery which should last about 6 to 8 hours. This is also rated IP54 for water and dust resistance. This thermal camera can be used for a variety of tasks. Whether you need to find hotspots for electronic repairs, check walls for insulation issues, air leaks or water leaks, and even car repairs, this thermal camera will help you with your task. In the menu you have the option for image correction, and what that does is it syncs and calibrates the visual and thermal camera if the image is out of sync. You have five color palettes to choose from, between Spectrum, Iron, Cool, White, and Black. You can also adjust the emissivity. It has an auto shutdown feature which automatically shuts it down after a certain amount of time. So currently it's set to 5 minutes, and when it's sitting idle for 5 minutes it'll automatically shut it down. You can also shut this feature off or increase the timer to 20 minutes. The brightness for the screen can be increased or decreased. You can adjust the language. Change between Celsius or Fahrenheit. Adjust the temperature range. Change the time format. Set the correct time. Remove the pointer or spot on the screen. And you can check the version of the firmware. If you take photos or videos, you can view them in the photos or video section, or you can connect it to the computer and transfer them over. So bottom line, the resolution on this camera is good, and the cover on the front of the lens helps protect it when it's not in use. However, taking videos isn't completely smooth with a 25Hz refresh rate when you're moving around, but it's still usable. I would have preferred a 50Hz refresh rate. The settings are easy to work with and change, and the display is good as well. I'll place links in the description for anyone who's interested in this Kaiwis thermal camera, and I'll see you in the next one.